Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am here at work as you can see. This video is going to be a day in the life of an ultrasound tech. Um, you'll, I'm gonna insert the footage, but this is just the intro. So um, I wanted to come on here real fast and just let you know what this video is about. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well. I would love to have you guys as a member of my online family or my YouTube family. Um, follow me on Instagram as well. It's at I've got this times two. Um, and yeah, so let's get into the video. All right. See you at the end. To start my day, I had a Dutch Bros chai tea latte. Excuse the mess in my car. My husband feels like, oh, I can open up a package and it's right there. Come on, part and stay inside a way until I'm safe again. I have nothing more to put on. I'm defeated and withdrawn. Just trying to understand. Okay, here you see my student scanning an abdomen ultrasound. I train students from a local college here in Northern California. I had to zoom in on my boss board. Yes, where are my boss ladies at? Hi guys, it's the afternoon now. So I'm gonna go and get a Chipotle bowl and then head back to the office. Let me know in the comments below what you guys eat on your lunch. Do you bring lunch? Do you go buy lunch? I wanna stay wide open. headed back to work now and I'm gonna eat real fast and then um, get back to my schedule I can't show you too much because I do work in the medical field and for patient HIPAA privacy they don't allow us to record so <laughs> but I'm trying to give you as much footage as possible just so you can see like the day in the life of what I, like an outpatient type of flow I have 13 patients on my list today to do so far I've done nine so um, my schedule today ends about three o'clock so let me get back in here and I will talk to you later though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open cause if I so now it's the end of the day and all you see me doing is straightening up the bed, stocking and turning off the machine, making sure the room is ready for the next day. I don't know about you guys, but I am a huge germaphobe. So now that I've been in the medical field for about 20 years now, um, I don't know, I have to take extreme precautions and wipe down everything, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, I wipe off the table, wipe off my work desk, and the doors, the door handles, I do it all. Um, please let me know if you guys are a germaphobe as well, down in the comments, um, but uh, I probably am a little bit over, over exaggerating or overly extreme on this, but you never know, germs could be anywhere, and. I have to make sure that I write down my workstation and my work area.
Hey guys, if you're interested in becoming an ultrasound technologist, hit that like button and comment below and I will definitely reach out to you and give you information on how to get started. Now it's the end of the day and I am actually done, um, but I just want to show you around the room real fast. So this is my storage closet inside my room and it holds my probe covers, extra gloves, and some chucks for the bed for when patients have to get undressed and they lay on the bed. And then we have our Cytex down there that we store. Um, we have these wipes here that wipes down all the probes, make sure that we're not leaving germs behind. That would be nasty. Then we have extra gel bottles here. This is our gel that we refill our bottles with. So over here, excuse the boxes, I'm taking those home, but we have our biohazard, we have extra gowns, we have pillow covers, pillows for patients who want to prop up their head or knees. We have extra towels here. I go through a lot of towels, believe me. And then we have our wonderful ultrasound machine. It's a GE Logic S8. Um, really good quality. I like working with it. It's user friendly. Um, so we take our pictures, we store our images on here, we send them to PAX. So, so the doctors can read, but that's our beautiful beautiful machine. Our bed there, it is electric, so it goes up, down, the head comes up, the head comes up, and the feet goes up as well. We have our little stand here with our small and medium gloves on it. We have extra gel there um, and it comes warm now. So we are able to warm our gel before it was freezing cold. So we're able to do that. Here's extra towels. And then I went and bought this today because there's been patients coughing and I'm like, no, I need something in the air to purify it. So. Two patient chairs here that's the exit door and then you have the bathroom right there for patients for pelvics Okay, so I really hope you guys liked that video. Um, it was something very quick, simple, to the point. I do work in a medical field, so unfortunately I can't show you like what I do on the computer. I can't show you patient information. So um, other than that, yes, um, that was the tour. You saw my student as well scanning in this video. Um, I trained students from a local college here. I've been doing ultrasound for about 20 years and um, yeah, I enjoy it. I just not in love with it anymore. Doing something for 20 years, you kind of get burnt out a little bit. So that's why I kind of moved to the outpatient side of things and not the hustle and bustle of doing call um, and being in that rotation. 
working ER patients. I just didn't want to do that anymore. So um, I work four days a week and pretty simple. Um, 8.30 to 5 every day and I'm still able to have a life outside of work where I could travel, I could pick my kids up from school if I wanted to, um, and also go like on their field trips. So I think that's where my love and my passion is with just my family. And so I live, um, I work to uh, live, I don't live to work. So um, yeah, but in my younger days, believe me, I was on the grind. So um, again, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would love to have you. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna lock my door and stay inside away until